In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can duplicate a page inside of Inkscape. So here I've got an image of a cat drinking coffee. I've got some text down below. We can see here my page is set up and I'd like to duplicate all of this information into another page. So on the left hand side, I'm gonna go over here to the rectangle tool, I'm gonna to click it, and now I'm going to make a shape. And the shape is going to be the exact same size as the page. Now you can tell if you've gone outside because you're gonna see a little line there. You'll see I've started to draw outside my page, but you can spend a lot of time trying to get this exact. So what you, I'd rather you do is just kind of get it close and then we can make this the exact size of the page. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first I'm gonna to go to File, I'm gonna to go to Document Properties. And here we can see the size of the page. So I've got my display set up, I've got my page. I can actually color my page if I wanted. So we can see this is definitely the page that I'm talking about. And we can see the front page, the width is 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters. So what I can do now is make my shape this exact size, 210 by 297. So you'll notice right above this box, there's a width and there's a height. So I'm simply gonna change the width from this 218 to 210. And I'm gonna change the height from this 304 to 297. It's now the exact right size. Now I'm gonna make this white. So I'm gonna click down below and make this pure white. Okay, so I've got my white rectangle and it's the exact same size as my page. Problem is when I hover over it, it actually covers the image. So I need to put this white rectangle under the cat and the coffee. So what I'm gonna do is just click the white box and then right here, I'm going to say raise to top or in this case, lower to bottom. I'll click lower to bottom and that just moves it underneath the cat image. Again, I'm not gonna make it super accurate right now. I'm just gonna make this look at the best I can. And then I'm gonna highlight everything. So Control A highlights all of it. And I would like to align this so that it's all centered. So first, make sure everything is selected. Second, go to Object, and then right down at the bottom, there's Align and Distribute. When you click on that, you're gonna get this cool little menu that comes up, and from here, I can make sure that I center everything on the vertical axis. Don't worry if it's not exactly on the page. We're gonna fix that in just a second. Just make sure that your image looks to the best of your ability where you would like it to be. Forget about the page for a second. I've got my cat centered. I'm gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna make sure that it's centered here. We're good. Okay, I'm happy with the way this looks. Now, you're gonna make this the size of the page automatically. Control A selects everything and then just simply go Control Shift R, and that will make your page the size of the image. Now I wanna be clear, if I didn't have the white box, then if I did that exact same thing, Control A and then Control Shift R, it would actually change the size of the page, which you may not want. You'll see the page now has become smaller. If you want the page to stay the same size, you'll need to create a box like this, this white rectangle, and then move everything together Control Shift R. That'll move everything into one page. All right, now if you want to duplicate this, it's pretty easy to do. Just do Control A, selects everything, including the white. I'm gonna go here to Edit, Copy, and then I'll go Edit, Paste. That's gonna get me a second grouping of elements, and I can move that now over here, and I can make this a secondary image. Now, one of the challenges you might run into is if you uncheck everything and you do Control A, now I've selected all of this. So you may not wanna do that. So what I would recommend is you highlight everything you'd like to be duplicated. So in this case, three items, my text, my cat, and my white rectangle. And I'm gonna right click and I'm going to go into group. That now creates one image. So I'm gonna click on the cat, hold down the shift key, click on the text, hold down the shift key, click on the rectangle. Now I've got all three selected, right click and group. Now I've got this image, I've got this image, and I can simply go Control C, Control V, and that makes a third page, a fourth page, and so on. Now if you'd like to individually change anything in here, simply double click and it will open up just that element. So if you just wanted to monkey around with the cat, for example, I'll go here to my selection tool, I'll select this one, and I'll simply double click on the cat, and now I can move him around, I could sum him out, I could put in another image if I wanted. I hope you found that helpful. Duplicating pages is not something you might use a lot, but it's helpful to know how to do it. 
Here's another video where you can have some fun using Inkscape, which is completely free. Check it out today.